So I went in and I deleted the video and I feel horrible right now. Good morning from Kathmandu, Nepal. Little morning walk, it's 8 a.m. I'm loving this little area that I'm staying at. It's about a 20 minute drive from the center of Kathmandu. So it's a little bit on the outskirts, not as busy and crazy as uh, the center of the city. It has a very small town vibe to it. The sun just came up not long ago. The shops are starting to open. I'm going to the Buddhanath Stupa. That's a big temple not far from here. And uh, I'll take a little morning stroll down to there, see what's going on in the morning. Look, you can see the garbage guys getting to work over there. People on their bikes going to work, going to school. It's just a really cool little town. I know that the temple is down this way. In this general direction. So I'm just gonna stroll down the street and uh, see what's going on at 8 a.m. in Kathmandu. Wow. Look how nice this place is. And that place. I love the buildings here. And I'm noticing that every building is a little different. You know how sometimes you go to a town and you like, and you can tell that every building is kind of built the same and has that same kind of vibe. Here, a lot of the buildings are built different. Buddy, some chips. <laughs> I just love being with the people, you know, being in these little parts of town where there's not many tourists. Um, I'm going to a big tourist attraction, but when I casually strolled through it last night, um, there were people there, but it didn't really seem like many foreigners. Uh, I'm sure there were a lot of people who come from all over Nepal to see the place. Um, but yeah, there weren't too many foreigners in this area. I could see it being a tourist area at a certain point in the year, I guess. But right now, I kind of just like threw myself into Nepal and I'm just getting to feel it out. And uh, I don't really see many tourists down here. And you really get that neighborhood vibe here where, you know, people are just doing their thing. Waking up, starting their day. I really feel like I'm in someone's neighborhood. Oh my gosh, look at this little dog. <laughs> like a little terrier. You look like an Ewok, buddy. <laughs> Guys, what's up, buddy? Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's like she's making chola batura. Hello. Batura and some and potatoes. Mmm, that looks really good. But I just ate four bananas. And I have a peanut butter and banana sandwich in my bag. <laughs> Last night, I was looking for peanut butter. And I finally, I actually, it took me three shops to go to. But I actually found peanut butter with no sugar in it. Just all natural peanut butter with just peanuts. It cost me uh, $3.50 Canadian. Plus a loaf of bread for a dollar and 13 bananas for like for a dollar. So for about five bucks, I got enough peanut butter banana sandwiches to last me a week. <laughs> uh, 
very morning vibey. This is, this must be the market. Mm. Oh wow. Holy. Okay, I didn't expect to see that. Some fruit vendors, vegetable vendors. Oh, watermelon. Oh, and they got little, um, Custard apples, I love those. Some dragon fruit, papaya, grapes, watermelon. Hello, sir. Oh, avocados. First time I've seen avocado out here. Some sugar cane. Look at these super cool bananas. More papaya. Hello, sir. Oh, dragon fruit again. Wow, the fruit on oh, huge avocados. Wow. I gotta pick one of those up at one point. Namaste Cafe and Restaurant. Not the most original name, but uh, I get it. <sighs> Little chilly right now, but I know it's going to warm up. Um, it's about 15 degrees right now, so I just got a t shirt and a scarf, but I know it's going to warm up to about 20, so I didn't want to leave the house with a hoodie. Oh, here we go. Wow. Okay. So now we're here. Wow. Here we go. Okay, just got thrown into it. Just gonna switch cameras real quick. Look at all those birds up there. So, so that's the stupa, the temple. <laughs> Looks like I came at the right time. A lot of people are getting here right now. <laughs> So the temple is in the center and all around there's a bunch of shops and these little three-story buildings circling the whole thing. I'll do a little circle of the temple and um, then we'll get into it and go inside. Mm, it smells really good here. They burn this combination of, um, of roots and herbs and plants and burn it and it smells really good almost smells like sage a little bit <laughs> let it go let it go in there <laughs> A lot of birds here. <laughs> it's like they all stay on the sunny side of the temple and wait for their food down there. Oh, this art is so nice. Some Tibetan art. Dogs, birds, people, everybody seems to be walking in the same direction, a clockwise direction. And also I know that um, there's some wheels in there that are meant to be, to say a little prayer and spin them in a clockwise direction and that shoots your prayer up. So it seems like clockwise is uh, a theme here. 
Nepal is kind of squished between India, Bhutan, uh, Tibet, China's not far. So it kind of gives this mix of a lot of different vibes out here. Tibetan refugees came here in the 50s and populated Nepal and populated this area in general actually. So there's a lot of Tibetan influence obviously, Tibetan monks, Tibetan Buddhist temples, um, Tibetan art, and people whose ancestry comes from Tibet. You know what I'm noticing? All these people who are walking in this direction, they're not actually walking to go anywhere. I think it's kind of like a, a lot of them are holding beads and saying prayers and walking around the temple. It looks like it's kind of a meditative walk. Some people are chatting and stuff, but I don't think it's, uh, you know, these guys aren't going to the shop down the road. <sighs> A little morning sun nap. The entrance to the temple. So I just walked into the temple there and I was filming and it's beautiful inside but a lady came up to me and got upset and was like don't film and then so I said oh so I shut it down and then she said delete 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 so I went in and I deleted the video and I feel horrible right now I really feel bad for filming in there and I'm just going to end this video right now. I really feel bad about that. It's a beautiful place though. The walk is nice here. Um, the temple is beautiful. Come here, appreciate it, and don't film. And I'm out of here. So I just took about 45 minutes to uh, get over how bad I felt about filming in there and I'm over it. It's, I still feel bad but you know, what are you going to do? I wasn't aware, did the wrong thing, and learned a lesson and now I move on. <laughs> Guys, look. Ah, see? I instantly felt better. These guys, I filmed those guys and they're smiling at me and chanting and welcoming my videoing of them. There you go. Feel better now. They're playing some kind of board game on a phone. <laughs> the future is now. My god, look at this little Ewok though. You don't want cookies? You don't want your cookies? Hello. Hello. No, you're not hungry. <laughs> Mmm, smells so good back here. Incense. I got a whiff of Indian incense. Normally you smell Tibetan incense because there's a lot of Tibetan people in Nepal. Nepal smells like Tibetan incense. You know what I mean. 
but I just got a whiff of Indian incense. It smelled nice. Now, this is interesting. So I just left that little, I just got, went out that little alleyway. I can't help you, I'm sorry. And I'm on this main street all of a sudden. You know what? I'm not ready. My morning's been way too chill to, to go out there right now. Yeah, and you know what's really crazy? It really reminds me of India, that street. Just the noise and the chaos and the energy. And it was right when I, after I smelled the Indian incense, I got thrown into India. That was so weird. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Nice and chill again. Hmm. Nice and chill again. Definitely go inside here, but don't film inside. Entrance to a monastery in here. Monastery was really nice Beautiful I didn't film inside for the obvious reasons and but actually I, I asked if I could and the guy was like no he smiled at me He's like no So I didn't but I sat in there for a good half hour. There was a monk chanting the whole time. It was really nice This is the type of spot. I'm sure there's YouTube videos up there with people sneaking in shots of the inside of these places I'm not about to do that, but uh, if you don't come here, maybe look for videos like that because the places are beautiful. Highly recommend coming here if you come to Kathmandu, Nepal. And this main temple behind me, really cool inside, but there's other temples and monasteries in the little side streets. That was the first one that I went in beautiful so I'm sure there's more I'm gonna keep exploring this place there's this place that is so nice from the outside it's amazing I'm gonna step inside right now again I will not film <laughs> I'll tell you about it in a minute I'm on the top balcony of that little monastery that I just walked into and I'm gonna go inside but as you can see I'm gonna go check it out. Another beautiful one, man. Wow, it's crazy. Inside there's like big sculptures and beautiful art. The colors are amazing. It's just really special. And the funny thing is that it says no photography, no phones. <laughs> I walk into the main part of the monastery and there's uh, four monks on their phones. One guy's texting, two guys are talking. One guy has his phone plugged into the wall, charging it, texting somebody, he's pretty funny. The juxtaposition of a really calm monastery with monks texting their friends and talking to people, just like casually lying down, chilling out, talking to a friend. It's just a funny thing to see. 
So there's a lot of bootleg North Face stuff here. Like, look at the stitching on this, it's horrible. But this is the best I've seen so far. Ekra Trek Face. You could also get North Face here, but if you don't like North Face, you could get Ekra Trek Face. Oh, they even got Ekra Trek Face jackets. I'm getting hungry right now. I think I'm gonna go back and find that girl who had the batura with the potatoes on the side. I'm gonna go look for her and eat that. And then uh, continue on to another adventure. I don't know, it's only 10 o'clock right now. We got here at eight. I still have a full day ahead of me. Oh my God. Oh my God, I don't know what that smell is, but it's amazing. Mm. I think it's this, yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. I don't know what that is, but it smells so good. And it's right next to this shop. Mm. It's like citrusy. Mm, I'm tempted to say lemongrass, but that's just because the word lemon is in it. Mm, that smells good. Okay. Now, where's that girl with the batura? Mm, I think she was down this little alley here. I think I'm getting close. I think I'm getting close. Oh, no, I'm not. Maybe here? Okay, found the spot, found the spot. The spot has been found. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This one. Hello. You have uh, chapati and aloo? Yeah, okay, can I have uh, one one order? So when I was here earlier, there was uh, Batura, but now I think he's only making chapati. So he's rolling up the dough for the chapati. Yeah, so he's got oil there, so he does the Batura in there. And a pen here for chapati. chai here and I got to talking to the, the owner of the little shop and it turns out he's from India from uh, the border a little border town between Nepal and India and I said it made a lot of sense that he's from India because that aloo was very spicy <laughs> and, and in Nepal you don't taste too much spicy food so yeah <laughs> aloo is spicy but very good very good and the chai is very good States. reminds me of being in Delhi. Mm. He said he's been here for 15 months and he's already got um, he's already got all his customers and he's doing well on this little in this little alley so good man good for him it's great I'm gonna end this uh, video right now with a chai uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you soon peace